Good day and welcome back to the AIIDE tournament. We are casting a couple of games of the AI competition of StarCraft Brood War. We've got a Purple Wave, uh, of course, it's uh, the renowned Protoss by um, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Oh god, Dan Gand, and uh, at the other end of the map, or oh, this is the Protoss, of course, by Dan Gand, called Purple Wave, and we have got here CPAC, which is a Zerg by the player, or the, co the coder, uh, named Chi Yu Yin, and it's going for a hatchery and a spawning colony, and pardon me if I speed up this initial stage of the game, because nothing much really is happening, both players need to set up their economy, get their workers going, and then build their first combat units, which are now being built. So now the game is afoot, we'll slow down and talk more about what's happening. And the scouting scouting probe is being engaged by a lot of workers, and this is an old trick you see very well. Oh, and it gets away, and that's uh, pretty well done. And now it dies. Small miss micro, the movement wasn't all there, and it keeled over, so to speak. And Zerg is going for more and more basic fighting units called Zerglings. Protoss, however, has barricaded the entrance to his base. You can see this is high ground, and this is creating an impassable perimeter for these ground units until there are flying units, will, which will not happen until later into the game. Protoss is quite safe. And the Zerg is sitting back at the entrance, and Protoss is sitting back right here. Protoss is going for some kind of um, transition into technology going for ranged units, which will uh, of course be of a benefit. And the Zerg is attacking, but in this narrow choke, only two or three units can attack at a time. And these Protoss units with their higher DPS, uh, higher damage per second, higher rate of attack, they can do more damage. Well, the rate of attack is not higher, but they do more damage. And again, the, the Zerg is pushing, but it's really not working. And this is a beautiful position of units if you know on the minimap it doesn't look cute but it's very well spaced and Zerg is just going to build units upon units upon units and now some kind of tech so what is Protoss going to do? Protoss is going to build some kind of a ranged unit the Dragoon and the Zerglings are fleeing the Zerglings are fleeing that's unfortunate because CPAC has 11 workers whereas Protoss Purple Wave has got 25 so in the long run uh, it's a battle of economy as well, but Zerg has also created the lair, which will enable it to build a spire, and if it's got a spire, it can build flying units and a lot of defensive structures. That's very interesting. The Zergling force has retreated, and it would be ideal if there were some kind of logic enabling this force of cheap units to ravage the workers, which is not happening. But the Protoss is now attacking the main base of Zerg, and the Zerg units can't really make up their mind. Are they going to attack, keep up the contain or defend? A small portion is going to defend and a small portion is going to attack, which means that these defensive structures have got to do everything by themselves. That is very unfortunate. The Protoss army is wavering because the rear is being attacked, but these zealots, these fighting units, they keep on pushing. And although there is, oh, and that is the last, the very last defensive building, one more is being constructed, but it's immediately being engaged. But the Zerglings are now coming back, and there are some more here. So I think, although a lot of structures died for Zerg, that Zerg is somehow going to be safe for the time being. But oh dear, no, all the workers are dead, only two more workers remaining. And that is very unfortunate, and all the Zerglings are dead as well, almost all the Zerglings, and Protoss has got a new army ready. So that's unfortunate for CPAC. CPAC has got almost no more army left, and now it's only got four army, three and a half army supply versus the 32 of Protoss. And as soon as this cavalry hits the Zerg base, it's going to be over. Nice expansion, but you haven't got any workers to mine from it. And that is going to be the end. Now, Protoss with a quick and bloody victory. All of one base, no fancy economically heavy battles. Every battle we've seen so far is quite small scale. And yeah, that's the end of that. I'm going to call the GG on the behalf of oh, the Zerg leaves us already. So that's the end of the game. See you next game.